Greetings, Holy Trinity family. I miss being together with all of you, and I hope you're doing well. I so long for normalcy, for life to go back to the way it was. And I'm thinking you do too. But I've had to face the fact that normalcy is not possible right now. And that some aspects of life may not go back to the way things were before the coronavirus. For some of us, our lives have not been disrupted all that much. But for others among us, the disruption has been significant, life altering. Now, I have to admit that some changes I've had to make over the past two and a half months have come with welcome benefits. For instance, I've had lunch with my husband Gil a lot more often because we've both been working from home. But the truth is that all change requires adjustments, some of which are not always pleasant. It's important to recognize that we're grieving the loss of normalcy. God understands what we're feeling. He understands the effects of sudden and life-altering events. The Bible is full of people who've had to deal with a cataclysmic loss of normalcy. Think of King David on the run after Saul plots to kill him or when his son Absalom usurps the throne. David didn't go looking for trouble. It was foisted upon him, and he had to live with the consequences. But he didn't have to do it alone. We see in Scripture how the Lord is at work in the midst of human grief and loss and the reasons for it. Now, as some of you know, my mother died on the night before Easter. Your cards and letters have been so comforting. Yet in the days following it, I, I was feeling quite detached from her death because there was no opportunity to grieve with my siblings and extended family. It just wasn't safe for many of us to travel. My mom's burial was in Michigan, where my family's from. And only my brother and sister and their spouses who live in Northern Ohio could get there. However, God had a way through this impasse. My niece scheduled a Zoom meeting for Gil and our son Caleb and me and for my nephews and cousins. And my brother brought his phone to the cemetery. Those of us who were online got to watch the brief committal service together in a manner of speaking. And I have to say that it was a powerful experience. I was able to weep. It was the first time I had done so. I could see my mother's casket being lowered into the grave. That was so important. And I got to share this experience with my family, even though we couldn't be with one another in person. And later, as we exchanged emails with one another, we reminisced about my mother, the kind of thing we would have done had we all been together. But the point is, it worked for me, even though it wasn't ideal. God was able to make a way where there wasn't any way. And that's who he is. That's what he does. So in this day and time where normalcy is, is gone and we wonder when we'll get it back, there's one thing we can count on. God will provide. It may be not what we want, but it will be what we need. And we can count on that because that's who he is.